Hello everyone, welcome back to We Know What You Like, I'm Lucia. Today on the channel we are watching Banana Fish Season 1, well there's only one season, but episode 24, The Catch in the Rye, aka the last episode of the series, series finale, season finale. Uh, we had last episode, we had Edgy getting better, quote unquote, getting better from getting shot as did Ash starting to get better from the shot. We had a game of cat and mouse with um, Mr. Fox. In the end, Mr. Fox shot Golds... Go uh, I was going to say Goldstein. Golzin or, or Papadino, if you want to call him that. We have all this conniptions with um, the one bitch with long hair. I remember Yuslang, I think his name is. And we have the stuff with Blanca and... Uh, and then we have the ordeal with, um, what's his name? Not Spike. The new Chinese kid, uh, boss kid. The one that was like, I wish it wouldn't have been the boss. I wish Shorter was here. Me too. And then he's like, um, Ash, when this is all over, because, you know, you did kill my guys, even though they tried killing him and Edgy, I think we need to duke it out and fight. And I'm like, this is so fucking stupid. <sighs> Yeah, um, Fox is like, yeah, I'm gonna take that information about banana fish and take it for my own. And, um, yep, yep, yep. Um, obviously, if you're watching this on YouTube, you can't watch ahead on Patreon because it's done. But on Patreon, you can see the uncut if you'd like to see that. Uh, will I cry? I don't know. They, uh, the show keeps on edging on the fact that someone might die aka ash will he die i don't know they also keep like doing um foreshadowing about him not being able to fly away you know because he's like the leopard of uh a kilimanjaro you know he instead of turning back and you know or he he strives forward he keeps going forward but he freezes to death and you know people keep saying he's like a cat um a lynx you know <sighs> And Edgy, he's the bird. He's the one that flies away. We also have, uh, like, oh, you should come back to Japan with me. Will that happen? I don't know. You know, teach me the Japanese language. You know, teach me how to say hello and use the bathroom and stuff like that. So, what will this episode bring? Maybe I'll cry. I don't know. Let's just watch it, though. Yeah? Pin comment for the highlight reaction. Pin comment for the uncut. Um, let's get started right now. What does this tell us, huh? You can't fight destiny. You can't fight your circumstances. You can never get out of your circumstances. I had a feeling something was going to happen because there was always much more in the episode. I thought maybe Blanca was going to go turn his back. I thought, you know, another rival gang. He wasn't going to take Sing away. Does Edgy ever find out? I mean, it's the happiest he's looked the entire time we've known him. Did he know he was gonna die? And that's why he wanted to go back to the library. He's like, oh, yep, that's a, that's a spot. Uh, that's just done. All of that, just for him to fucking die. By him? In a way that's, it's almost poetic, right? He survived so much for that. And then that happens. It's bullshit is what it is. It's not fair. Oh, but Lucia, life isn't fair. Oh, Lucia, this isn't real. It's just a story. 
I don't know who's gonna tell me that, but like, just in case. <sighs> Firstly, Firstly, glad they brought the did the call back to the leopard of Kilimanjaro. I think that's what it was, right? Yeah. I'm glad they um uh, I I'm almost disappointed in a way. It can't you know it, it, with the way Dino died, you know. Um obviously I know that it wasn't just the the injury that what's his name um Singh's brother gave to Ash because he obviously had a lot more other injuries and he his he wasn't at this peak top form. But I don't know guys. I just I don't know how I feel obviously besides really fucking sad. But like I mean, I get what Ash was saying. He's, he didn't. He he didn't think he deserved to. He didn't want to corrupt Edgy's life. He didn't want to taint him. He didn't want Edgy to go down a path that he shouldn't. But like Edgy said, Ash, he was the saddest one in the room. The circumstances are what they were that made him hit like that. Like I, I remember mentioning this before, and I was I kind of compared him to you know like Erwin and AOT. Why would you want to bring back someone who's finally at peace? Or, you know what I mean? Obviously, it's a little bit different, you know, between the two shows. But why would, you know, he's finally free. He's finally flying, you know? I kept on using the metaphor, you know. And he, um, Ash loved the one time he saw Edgy do the uh, jumping over the wall with the pole thing. He's like, it was so memorized because he was, Edgy was flying. He, there was no tying him down. There was no... You know, he was weightless. Weightless. And then Ash, and as much as I... No matter how far a cat can jump or run fast, it can't fly. It can't escape the planes that it is at. You know, it can't travel across the seas. And... I mean, look at the difference between birds and cats, you know, or this cat, you know, the leopard in Kilimanjaro, he literally went up the cold ass mountain, and died there while um, birds fly away to get away from the cold. Here's a metaphor, guys. It's a metaphor. I'm glad Max didn't die. Why are people so disgusting on the real, real world? Why are people so fucking disgusting? It's disgusting. I don't know, guys. If you have any questions and more questions on it, how I felt about this series, go ahead and ask me. I just, I feel a little numb right now and I still got to edit this video. So, have a great one. Is anyone gonna tell anyone? When are they gonna find out? Bye, guys.